was never to replace the acquisition of the complete works of Bach, but it seemed to me such a practical solution to the weight of the books of the complete works of Bach to have a selection of the pieces that people really want to play under one cover in a lightweight book, competitively priced, practically edited so the student can learn it with ease and supported by Russell Stinson's notes at the back. I had such fun finding pieces which were not too difficult to complete manuals only book one. For example, number 11, such a clever piece and so satisfying in the way that Bach winds the last phrase of the chorale into the counterpoint. Uh, Russell Stinson opened my eyes to the ingenuity of that chorale prelude. If a student really isn't sure where to start, I would advise them to begin with the chorales at the beginning of Manuals Only Book One, which provide fantastic exercises, beautiful exercises to in touch and maybe in manual changing and shaping a phrase. Uh, if they're more advanced, they might want to start with the chorales at the beginning of Manuals and Pedals Book One, where the chorales are in four voices, all by Bach, I hasten to say, uh, and these make wonderful exercises in managing the distribution of the inner parts between the hands and indeed in managing an independent bass line. <laughs> Musicians have so many decisions to make when learning a piece and the first question is always what's this piece all about? Well, I've taken number four from Manuals and Pedals book two, the chorale prelude from Himmel Hoch. And the first thing I want to know is what is this chorale? What is this tune that Bach has used? I turn to the back and I find the tune printed out. I get to know the tune and I'm particularly interested in how each phrase is shaped. Then I want to know something about the text with which that tune was associated and I find, because I'm reading at the back, that the text is about Christ descending from heaven and I look back to the music and I find that that descent is expressed in the notes that Bach has added to the original tune. Having already explored what Bach has done with the chorale, we turn our attention to the pedals and we make the pedals that make our feet really confident before we put any notes on top of them. Next, I think it's a good plan to play through the individual voice parts because it's so fascinating to see how the figuration is incorporated into every single voice part and indeed how those voice parts converse with one another. After that, we have this very important question, which hand plays the inner parts? And it's such a difficult question for the less experienced organist to uh, respond to that I've taken trouble in editing the book to make it very clear, indicating which hand plays which note 